Hi guys, my name is Samir Mohammed, and in this video, I'm going to show you the different drop down columns available in SharePoint, like the choice, lookup, and manage metadata columns, and also show you the differences between them and when to use them. The SharePoint list primarily has these three types of drop down columns choice column, lookup column, and manage metadata column. Let's see the behavior of these columns and let's see how they're different from each other. So let's go ahead and take a look at how the choice column works. I have an employee list here and which has a first name and a last name. And I wanna add another column over here which is going to be job title. And I want the user to select from the given list of the job titles in the dropdown. So let's go ahead and see how I can do that. Click on add column and click on more, and this is gonna take me to the page where I can create new columns. On this new column page, I'm going to select the job title, and then choose choice as the type of the column. Scroll down and enter the list of choice values that you have. You have, you can also display these as drop down menu, radio buttons or check boxes, I choose drop down menu. I can specify if there's going to be a fill in choices as well and also the default choice over here. If I don't want a default choice, I can just go ahead and remove this. Finally hit on OK, and this is gonna add it back, add it to the list of all the columns that I, list of the views that I have. Scroll down, hit on OK. I just had an error message. This should not happen in your case, because in my case, the column existed from before. Hit on OK, it's gonna take me back to my employee list click on it and I can see that now I have a new column which is the top titles. I can choose this value here, click on the information icon up here and then now when I go to job titles I can see the list of drop down. These are the choices that I've entered. HR manager, uh, choose a different one, scroll down, job title, CEO and this saves automatically and let's remove this details pane over here. And now let's go back again to the column settings over here. Hit on edit, and I can add more values over here. And uh, chief operating officer, hit on okay. And you can see that this value now appears in the drop down here. So this is the most basic type of choice column. And you can always go ahead and keep adding values to it. You just have to make sure that you do not remove values. If by mistake you have removed values from this drop down, then all the existing, all the historical values will just blank out. Now let's go, go ahead and take a look at the lookup columns. I have an employee list over here. And in this employee list, I'm going to be making use of the lookup column. So I have the first time and last time as before. But this time it just so happens that there is a different list in my site, which is a job titles list, which already has a list of all the job profiles, all the job titles. So what I wanna do is, instead of rewriting the whole thing over again, instead of creating a column, which is a choice column, and then entering all those job titles in there, which is just going to be uh, you know, dupli duplicating the whole effort, I'm going to see if I can create a column which is going to connect this list over to the job title list. So let's go ahead and click on add column click on more and this time instead of a choice column I'm going to select a lookup column the column name is going to be my job title and scroll down and over here I need to select the different list select so this is going to show me a list of you know all the lists that I have in my site from here I'm going to select the list that I want which is the top title when I select job title, it's gonna refresh itself and then show me a list of all the columns which exist in the job title. I know that the column title holds a list of all the jobs that I have, all the job titles that I have. I can choose others as well, but I'm gonna choose the title column. Scroll down and this option enforces relationships, which means that if I choose this option, then any records which, if there are any records which exist in employee list which are associated with the job titles in the jobs list are ever deleted are ever attempted to be deleted SharePoint is not going to let that happen 
records were, will first need to be deleted from the jobs list before they are deleted from the employee's profile list. Hit on OK. So here's my job titles. And let me go ahead and select that and click on information and go to the details pane here. And I see the job titles over here, but this time this is a lookup column. And you can see that this is bringing me a whole big list of job titles right from the job title in itself. I can choose any of that or choose multiple of that and then update multiple values. The beauty about this approach is I don't have to duplicate my effort. And the second thing is that since this list has got all the job titles, they can be 20 or 30 different lists or libraries which can be making use of this list over here as a lookup column. And also I can go ahead and update it in one central location and this is going to update in all those lists where this lookup column is being used. Let's enter IT manager, hit on save. So I go back to my employee profiles list and then I choose any record. I just have to make sure that I refresh my page over here to see the new value of IT manager. And that's pretty much it. I can have much better control this way. I can specify several different, different types of permissions on job title so that only selected people can update the permissions of the job title list, something that I cannot do in, uh, in the last approach, which was using the choice column. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Manage Metadata column. So this is a different type of column and it connects to the taxonomy. Term store refers to is a central repository in your Office 365 tenant where you can store and manage all your terms. So let's go ahead and add a new column here. But this time instead of a choice or instead of lookup, I'm going to go down and select Manage Metadata. And as soon as I do this, so let me go ahead and enter, and this is going to be departments. All my departments are stored at a central location within my tenant, which is known as the taxonomy. And if you scroll down, this is where the taxonomy sits. This is where, you know, list of all the, all the terms which are stored in your taxonomy are going to be visible. And when I select AQL, so this basically is the term store, and the term store has got all these different terms. And these terms are managed from the Office 365 tenant. And again, they are central to the whole of the tenant. Hit on OK. OK, sorry. So select AQL and then select General Business Taxonomy. And scroll all the way down and hit on OK. So I can select a column or select a row and then go in the details panel and then scroll down and select the departments. And this time I don't just see a straight drop down, but there's a place that I can search as well. And, or I can just click on this icon over here, which is gonna load up the entire taxonomy or the entire term store. And you can see that there are several different levels of terms over here. And I can keep drilling down to what I want. So, and then click on select and then pretty much just select any term in the taxonomy here. Yeah, and this is saved. So the beauty about this approach also is I can just search through and there can be thousands and thousands of terms here which are centrally managed. This could be legal terms, it could be finance terms, or this could be pretty much anything. And instead of just browsing through all of that, I can just go ahead and search through all those terms and it's gonna show me details about where that term is within the term store. Hit on OK and then just go ahead and select it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also feel free to leave me a comment. Thank you.